Mr. Sabina, forgive me for my unclarity. This is a rather spontaneous question. Um, I have a friend, she's an atheist, and on our endless debates on the existence of God and all that we talk about, she has two claims, she makes two claims. When I pose her with the question of what the Quran says in terms of the existence of the universe and the world and how it states many facts, she turns around and she says, well, that knowledge was not just for the Quran, it actually existed before the Quran. There is um, scriptures, there is books before the Quran was even written, detailing information about the universe. So it's not just this knowledge that is superior to the Quran. What do I say back to that? Is she lying? Do scriptures exist? I mean, I have ignorance myself, but, you know, is this knowledge, like, was this available before the Quran was written? And sorry, secondly, another claim she makes is that I give the analogy of, you know, you have something in creation, who knows it? You know, the creator will know about everything about it. And I talk about, you know, if there is no God, how can we possibly exist if you keep on going further and further and further and back? There's no end, and if there's no end, how do we exist? But then she says, well, from a religious point of view, you say, well, God is the end. Well, I say, as an atheist, who says God is the end? Who created God? That's my question. Thank you. First, I have two questions which I have in common. The first question is that all the things mentioned in the Quran were already present before. So what's new? It's present in other scriptures and other books, etc. That's the first question. The second question is who created God? As far as the first question is concerned, I do agree that certain things were present in time before the Quran, but they were not called as established facts. They were not called as established facts. For example, the thing I quoted that the sun, previously people thought that the sun rotating. There are certain things which were there in the Greek history and the philosophical history. But for example, when the Quran speaks about the spherical shape, of the earth. These Greeks, they believed that the earth was spherical, but no one believed in them. So certain facts, not all, a small percentage of what the science has come to know today and what Quran mentions were told by people previously, but they failed to realize that the same Greeks mentioned hundred other things which were unscientific. The same Greek even mentioned that the earth was center of the universe, which is totally wrong. So imagine if hundred points are mentioned and Muhammad picks up one which is correct. That's also not possible. So I do agree with you, sister, that certain things were mentioned before science established as a fact today. But these things weren't established that time. And to say that out of the hundred false things they mentioned, if one thing is right, to pick up the one correct thing is again also not possible. Once it's possible, but not thousands of times, sister. Because only a person who is, even a scientist cannot do that. Only the creator himself can do and that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I do agree with you, but that portion which has been mentioned earlier in earlier scriptures and other philosophical books is a small portion, but that too, along with that portion, there are other things which aren't scientific mixed with that. Coming to the second part of the question, that who created God? Normally people in Dawah, they used a false strategy of logic, which tips itself. Most of the people, when they try to prove the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they say that everything has a creator. For example, who created this book? How did the book come into existence? Somebody created it. Who created it? And they go back. Where did you come into existence? Who created you? Your father. Who created your father? The grandfather. And then goes to God. Who created this microphone? Created the factory. Who created the factory? And then they try and prove who created the sun? God. Who created the moon? So based on this, they try and prove that everything has a creator, which according to me is a wrong logic. In my strategy, what I spoke today, I never said everything has a creator. That is the atheist who told me that the first person who will tell about the mechanism of this thing is the creator. I never said that. I say every created thing as a creator. But by definition, Almighty God is uncreated. It is like there's a person, suppose my friend, he comes and tells me that my brother John was admitted in the hospital. He gave birth to a baby. Was it a girl or a boy? Can you guess, sister? Was it a girl or a boy? Brother John gave birth to a baby. Was it a girl or a boy? Brother John was admitted to the hospital. He gave birth to a baby. Was it a girl or a boy? Can you guess? You can't guess. Can anyone guess? How can a man have a baby? So to ask the question, he gave birth to a baby. Was it a girl or a boy? Is illogical. 
So same thing, the definition of Allah is uncreated. The moment you say who created Allah, he ceases to be Allah. Therefore, the definition of God is uncreated. Therefore, Almighty God has got no creator. If he is a true Almighty God. Hope that answers the question.